And good morning. It's Saturday, the 10th of January, 2015. Welcome along to this morning's United Kingdom talk. I've had issues this morning, issues this morning. So you'll have to tell me whether this is working or not. I keep getting little jumps and sounds not working. And it's all because I had the wonderful idea of upgrading the little program that I use to bring this little show to you live. Now, those of you watching a recording won't see anything wrong at all. It's just, it's always the live thing that doesn't work so well. I don't know why that is. Anyway, I've upgraded the little program um, that changes sources, for example, from me, right, to this, okay? You, you can't see any of this if you're on the recording, all right, from that. Um, and then, then to that, all right, things like that. And uh, where's that then? One minute. See, that doesn't look right either. No, that just doesn't, it just, no, that's, you see what I mean? And it doesn't work as well as the one that wasn't upgraded. How many times have you, how many times have you done that? Well, you've upgraded something, but it hasn't worked as well as the original one. So I think I'll probably go back to the... You see, I do feel, you know, once you've, you've kind of upgraded, you should try and get the new one working. Do you know what I mean? I do feel that. That's why I'm on Windows 8. Windows 8. Almost as bad as <coughs> Windows Millennium Edition. That was bad enough, wasn't it? It really was. Anyway, we're, we're, we're soldier on and see what happens. Good morning to you. Uh, a programme I've been watching. Now, you may remember... Look, it's very warm in here today. I'm going to actually have to turn on the air. Oh, well, it's a bit silly, isn't it? I shall open the door slightly. Just a moment. Open the doors like a little bit. Air there. Oh, and the window. That's an idea. Hang on. Just open that a little bit of air in here. There we are. That's better. Um, yes, a program that uh, we like to have a little bit of air in it. Oh, I've also put the chair up a little bit more so you can see the clock now. Look, you can see the whole clock. I suddenly because well, it's, that's crooked. I am. Um, just a minute. There we are. Is that is that better? I um, uh, was watching a program, Judge Rinder. Do you remember this? At the end of sort of last year. And I really didn't like it at all. I thought it was over the top and cam, but it just didn't do it for me. However, the new series is much better. Now, Judge Rinder, do not think Judge Judy. It's similar, OK? But on the other hand, nothing like it in that... There is a courtroom full of people. There are two people in the court, one claiming against the other something. And there is a judge. That is where the similarity ends. Judge Rinder is his own personality. And I really do think that the second series is a lot better um, than the first. The, the first series is a lot better than the second series. Uh, Terry, where's Terry then, darling? Terry's telling me the audio's really bad. Just a second. Are we going to have another? Are we going to have another day of um, nothing working properly? Yes, I don't think I, I don't think we're going to have much luck at all with this today, are we? Should we just give up straight away? <laughs> oh God! Let's just try and sort some things out here. I knew there was something wrong. Um, I, I, I just no, I shouldn't have tried to change programs on this thing. Is it too loud or what, Terry? I don't know. Let's just try and sort this out now. I knew I shouldn't have done that before I blooming well started. You know what I mean? You should do it. You try a new program and then kind of work it out before you start. I wonder if that's picking up the wrong microphone. One minute. I think that's picking up the wrong microphone. Um, 
Where do we go with that then? One second. We'll sort this out. Do not worry. Microphone default should be lying in. Right. Let's see. Now, how's that, Terry? Is that better? I don't know where Terry is. I thought he was on there a minute ago. Now he's disappeared again. Oh, there goes the door. <laughs> Why do we have these days where nothing works? It's usually my fault. I've changed something, you know, to try and improve something somewhere. And it, it just doesn't work. It works the other way. I don't know why that is. Come on, Terry, come back to me. Where are you? Is there anyone there this morning? <laughs> Daniel, are you there? Is there anyone that can help me today? Come on, someone send me a Skype. There's Terry. Hello, Terry. Now, where's there's Terry now? One minute. Poor quality and seems to be interference. Is that any better? Ah, I thought it was, so it must have been picking up the... Um... So it was picking... It... Yes. OK, it was picking up the, the sound from the camera rather than directly the microphone. I thought that was a problem. Good. Is that... <laughs> Shall we carry on? Is the picture as, as it is normally or is it any different? Because it, it does not seem to be as easy to work, this, this upgrade, what they've done to the programme. Why do they do that? How can you make it more difficult all the blooming time? Daniel, if you mention the word shambles... You can't improve perfection. You're having a laugh, aren't you? Good, so that's sorted. Anyway, so I've been watching Judge Rinder. And it's much, much better. I don't know what he's done. He's certainly removed his catchphrase, Do you understand me? Now, you only get that two or three times in a show now. Whereas before, he seemed to be saying it all the time. I don't know if you've noticed Judge Rinder. Anyone watch Judge Rinder? Judge Rinder, ITV, two o'clock in the afternoon it is. I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. And uh, on one of these particular, I think it was on Thursday's show this week, there were, for example, two women, right, who had been great friends. Great friends for years and years and years. And what had happened is that someone had fallen on hard times and one lent the other one some money. Now, if you're a regular uh, listener or viewer to our little little morsel of fun each week, then you will know how I feel about lending people money. Anyway, um, she lent her, I think it was £500. You know, not an insignificant amount. 500 quid. And years had passed. Years. And then she, st and then, and then the other one had fallen on hard times and said, "Look, I could really do with that money back now." At which point she returned a hundred pounds, and she said, "I'll give you the rest when I've got it." And more time passed, and the other woman said, "I'll tell you what," she said, "You look like you've. I know you've had a really rough time. Why don't I use that other four hundred pounds?" Okay as part payment to take you on holiday. And the other one agreed with this. So more weeks went past. And in the end, the one who owes the money went with her partner on holiday, but didn't take the other one. And no more money was forthcoming. So... More time passed, and the friendship just went wrong because of this. I can't remember what happened at the end. I think, I think Judge Rinder decided that the person who borrowed the money should pay back to the other lady, OK? But the point is this, and I've said this... T oh, good morning, Kieran. Kieran's joining us. A bit late, aren't you? 12 minutes past, dear. Mind you, you missed all the mismatch at the beginning because it all went wrong again, dear. I've changed programmes. I've actually changed programmes, but and it's not as easy to use. But I'll, I'll persevere for a while and possibly go back to the other one. Anyway, and the point is, money was lent to a friend. Now, I've said to you, time and time again, never, ever 
lend money to friends. I mean this in the best way possible, okay? Because it creates problems. It really does. And when you start asking for it back after an enormous period of time has passed, you are made to feel the guilty one for asking for your own money back. And I've had it so many times. So many times. Oh, Chris, have you got 20 quid here? And it doesn't come back. I don't care how good your friendship is. Do not lend money ever to friends. I hate to say that. You know, I, I, if, if someone lent me money, I would, I would go out of my way to pay it back straight away. I really would. But people make you hang on. They borrow 20 quid, perhaps down the pub or somewhere like that. And they tell you that they're going to pay it back when they've got the money. And it doesn't come. And you keep seeing them in the pub. And you think to yourself, well, hang on a minute. How comes they haven't got the money to pay me back? And yet they're still sitting in the pub. The worst thing about it is when they make you feel guilty. Or talk to you in an abrupt way. Oh, any chance of that? To I'll give it to you when I've got it. It's just awful. If you want to give money to someone, fine. I said before, you know, if any of my nieces and nephews, oh, could you borrow us whatever? You know, I would let it, let them have it on the premise that it is a gift. If it comes back to me, fine. I hope they're not watching this because <laughs> they start asking for money now, won't they? Now that they've heard me say that. <laughs> but if they was to ask for a bit of money, I would give it to them, not expecting it to come back. And then if it didn't, I wouldn't be disappointed. If it came back, that would be a bonus. Or I might say to them, yeah, OK, give it to them. And then when they say, oh, I've, I'll put that money in your, something like that, I'd say, no, don't worry, forget it. It's fine. That, that's a, you know, but that's about it. I would never, ever lend money to anyone. No friends. It doesn't come back. You get all the promises in the world. The old expression, oh, I'll pay you when I've got it. Well, you're sitting in the pub having a drink, aren't you? It's just not worth the hassle. It really isn't. And if they have to go to someone else and borrow money or a loan company, so be it. My friendship isn't damaged. And most friends will not be offended. You know, nothing will go wrong with the fact that you haven't lent someone the money they ask for. I wonder if any of you have had any experience of this, because I would love to know. You can do it anonymously if you want to, OK? Just put, please don't read my name, but, at the top of the email. Or maybe you want to call in as well. Up to you. Have you ever lent money to someone? Did it come back? Or didn't it? Let me know on the email, chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. Or we have a Skype in. Skype username if you're watching the show live. And uh, if it's 12.17 on Saturday, the 10th of January 2015, you are with us live and you can join in live by using the Skype, all one word, United Kingdom Talk. OK, United Kingdom Talk is a Skype or indeed phone number 020 8144 3477. 020 8 OK. Uh, got to say good morning to, have you said good morning to Kieran, who was a bit late today? Morning, Kieran. Have you ever lent money to people? Or maybe, maybe you're one of those people who's borrowed money and never paid it back. Are you one of those? I want to know about it. Email chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. Phone number 020 3477. Skype, all one word. United Kingdom talk. 
Uh, Daniel says, I'm used to the shambles and that's why we love you. <laughs> oh, Daniel. It is always a shambles when you try something new. I'll tell you that now. Uh, good morning to Marge. He says, good morning. Sound is good. Your shirt is hypnotising me. Lines on it, wiggles on the screen. Oh, is, yes. I never thought of that. Yeah. Do you want me to put another shirt on, Marge? I know it's annoying. Oh, Marge. <coughs> Guess what's arrived in the post today? Look. Do you recognise this package? Look at this, Marge. Marge sent me something. For I told you it'd get here. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer, Marge. But your gift did get here. And Marge sends a little, a late Christmas card in. A late Christmas. Well, she didn't send it late, but it got here late. When did you send this? December the 15th, and I only got it on Thursday. So she sent me this uh, peace and glory for a religious Christmas card. Which is very kind of you, because you're not religious, but you um, respect the fact that I am, and you've gone out and chosen a religious Christmas card. Thank you very much for that, Marge. And inside it says, I have included a... Is it wand? I have included a wand beam vintage international good luck token, date 1952... On ad was told for good luck to carry with Lord's Prayer to give you something to take with you or pass it along if you want. Blessings from Mary. And it says, um, card was bigger than the envelope. <laughs> Is that why it was folded over? Oh, it doesn't matter. Thank you, Marge. And Marge has sent me this good luck token. And it's like a, a very, it does look very, very old. I'm gonna, I don't think I can actually read what's on there because it's quite faded. It says Ward Beams. Do you know, I can't see that. Have I got another light? Oh, yes, I have. One minute. So if I can put oh, that bit, that might be better. Ward Beams International Auto Daredevil Concert, and there's a uh, contest. And there's a picture which looks like a car. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. I don't think you can see that, can you? Maybe not. A car going into a river. And there's some writing on the other side as well. Just a minute. Let me see if I can read that. Oh, it's the Lord's Prayer on the back. Our Father who... Yes, the Lord's Prayer is actually on the back of this coin. So thank you very much for that, Marge. That is very much appreciated. That is going to go in my little wallet and be carried around to wherever I go. Thank you. How kind someone to send that in. Thank you very much, Mar Marge. OK. Oh, she says I can leave my shirt on. Thank you. Yes. Um, that's that, what a nice thing to say. I'm going to put that in my wallet and it will be carried around everywhere as of today, Marge. So hopefully I will be bought. Good luck. I will. Um, now, I, I don't know if you want me to read your name out, but someone sent in a message about lending money. I shall keep you anonymous unless you ask otherwise. And they say, yep, I've had this with a work friend. Always a week before payday, he would ask to borrow 20 or 30 pounds to start asking or start asking for cigarettes when I used to smoke. Oh, that's another good one. Oh, have you got a cigarette? Yeah, you never get that cigarette back, do you? Never, ever get that. I haven't smoked for years. I gave up, gosh, um, I think I gave up 27, 26, 25, 35, 40. I gave up about 27 years uh, ago. Yes, I did used to smoke, yes, but I gave up 27 years ago. Anyway, um, start asking for cigarettes when I used to smoke. He used to give it back to me, but was always chase, but was always me chasing it, and I used to feel really awkward for asking for it. I put a stop to it months afterwards, and just said sorry, I can't afford it. He never asked again. Hey, well, you can say that if you want to. I don't say that. I say to them either um, I don't carry money with me, which is actually true. When I'm at work, I never really carry money. I don't need money with me. 
really don't. I don't drink while I'm at work. Well, I don't drink, full stop. I don't smoke. I don't need any money at work. If I want to drink, I go and get some soda water, which they give me for nothing. And that's all I drink, either soda water or tea at work. Or very, very occasionally, I do put, push the boat out and have a glass of Coca-Cola. But I always feel really guilty after that. Do you, <laughs> because of the amount of sugar and that there is in there. Coca-Cola or lemonade or something like that. I feel really good. I wouldn't have one of those, um, what are those red, um, red balls? Oh, no. Christ, I don't know how people can drink that stuff. Oh, it's so sweet and horrible, isn't it? Have you had it? Red Bull or any of those energy drinks? Yes. Um, I say to people, I'm not offended by you asking. And, and I, I, I fill in the silence before they can reply, you see. Now, Ronnie does that a lot. He, 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 he gives you questions. And then he tells you the answers and expects... Do you know what I mean? He'll, he'll tell you the answer to something weeks in advance and then the same question comes up again. And then you give him a different answer and it's not the answer he wants to hear. <laughs> but I, I, I fill in the gaps. So if someone says, Chris, have you got a fiver? Really sorry, mate. I, really, I don't lend money to anyone at all. Um, I'm not saying that you would uh, not pay it back. But I just don't lend money to anyone at all, and that's it. I hope you're not offended by that. I'm really not offended by you asking, but no, I don't lend money, all right? And then they don't, they, they, that's it. They never, ever ask again. It won't come back. I know it just doesn't come back. Um, and Terry H sends in a message, don't be taking your shirt off live on air. Oh, that, oh, yes. So it was Terry... It was Terry who was uh, lending 20 or 30 quid. How much did you lend in the end or did you get it back every time? They do make you feel awkward though, don't they? They absolutely do. Marge says the token is valued at $30. So was hoping no one stole it, stole it in the mail, not being insured. Glad you like it. Oh, is it really? Is it worth $30? This is a lovely thing. Very old, isn't it? 1952. I will hold on to that. And one day... One day, Marge, when I'm when I'm about to go to another place, I will hand it on to someone else. I've got a couple of little items like that. Your coin will be handed on to someone else at some point. Probably, probably a member of the family. I also have um, a little necklace with a emerald on it and a gold cross. That was my mother's. That's waiting to be handed on to someone else, and also um, some rosary beads that my aunt gave me. Like four things there now to hand on at the moment of resurrection. <laughs> Which I hope isn't going to be too soon, because I've got so much more to say on this programme. <laughs> uh, what's Daniel saying now? Oh, Chris, come on, tell us how much money you've lost to Ronnie. None. None, because he's never asked for any. So shut up. Here you are, Mr. Noel. He's never asked for any money. So it's not him. Been various people over the years, dear. Various people. Have you got a fiver here, fiver there, all the time? Kieran says, sorry I'm late. No, don't lend or borrow. Do not, yeah, all right? So learn that. Do not ever lend or borrow money to anyone. Uh, by the way, Ronnie is in Ireland at the moment. I think he's... Actually, he might be on the plane now. I think he had a 12 o'clock flight, maybe. Not quite sure, but he uh, should be on his way home soon to the UK. I haven't seen him for a whole week. He's too, too busy. Busy, busy, busy. busy, And too busy today. Too busy tomorrow. Too busy all last week. Never mind. I need other friends. Is anyone going to move around here and become another close friend? I need more friends. I really do. I'm desperate, to be honest. Desperate. Um, let me see. Oh, something I downloaded this week. I'm on this um, police, um, what do you call it? Crime stoppers thing. Thames Valley one. And every few days you get an email down of any crimes that might have been committed. And then if you know anything, you can help them. Now, I haven't been able to help them with anything so far, but um, that, that's the general idea of it. 
And they've now got a new app for iPhone and Android. And you might want to download this one yourself. It's called Face Watch. Here it is. Face Watch. Can you, I don't know if you can see that one. Is that, where is it now? It's on my iPhone. It's that one there. Face Watch. Okay. And the idea with this is you, you click it. And it says connecting. One minute. And then you go to the map, map icon, and you type in your postcode. And up in the gallery comes all these criminals. And from the look of it here, they all look like shoplifters or something like that. Criminals pop up little pictures of them. And if you can identify them, you can then just click on the picture and tell them that your their name and address and send it into the police. How fantastic is that? I've got great time for the police. I think they, they do a wonderful, very hard job. It's not a job I'd be very good at, I'm afraid. I'd be letting everyone off. Oh, 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 oh you're stealing it. Oh, you're stealing it for your poor old mum. Oh, oh, go on, you take that. No, I'd be a bit like that, you see. I wouldn't be. But I've got a lot of time for the police. So I don't know if that would be of interest to anyone here in the UK. The app is called Face Watch. And it's like a little eye with like a half a moon type thing above it if you want to have a look at that and assist assist in the catching of criminals or maybe maybe terry we could put our own app like that with pictures of people who have lent us money over the years is that a good idea <laughs> terry says i always got the money back but after chasing it and feeling guilty for asking for it it just puts a strain on the friendship that's exactly what i said to you and it is always friends. You know, no one you don't know comes up to you in a pub and says, oh, have you got a fiver? They really don't. And the promises, I'll give it back to you. I promise I'll give it back to you. No, they won't. Don't lend it. Please, please do not lend. For, please don't come back to me in years time, boys and girls, and tell me, oh, I wish I'd listened to you. I lent so-and-so a hundred quid. Don't lend it. End of. Terry says, it really annoys me. I live on my own and I have a reasonable income, it says. I pay my bills and budget and I have any money left over. I use it to treat myself. When people ask, I see it as they don't look after their money. Why should I be put out because of them? Exactly. Exactly. We have a phone call. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning from Ireland. Oh, if you ever go across the sea in Ireland, good evening, Era. And which part no, of Era are you it's speaking to? Early afternoon, where the time zone is twelve thirty uh, GMT. Well, it's twelve thirty here as well. You retard. Uh, no, no, it's not. It's not retard. It's retard. 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 Are you actually. in the car? We are. Yeah, we're all driving on our way to the airport. So not, so not only are you calling from Ireland, you are calling uh, from a mobile phone in Ireland while driving around. Isn't the technology marvellous, dear? It is marvellous. It is marvellous. It's just How like... Show today? It's just is like... It this, shambles? It's just like this programme. The technology never, ever lets you down. Yeah. Yeah, technology in your own. There's always a virgin man in your own. And I mean the tech, not the other sort. There's always a what? There's always a virgin man in your road doing something. A virgin man? Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you mean like virgin the company? So we went into that beautiful church. Oh, lovely. Absolutely beautiful. I met the, I met the priest. Are you still there? Yes, I'm shutting up so you can speak. I wish you'd do that oh, sometimes God. when I was talking. Yeah, met the priest. He was very nice. Uh, met the cleaners. Uh, took some lovely photos and I lit a couple of candles for you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So I've taken pictures of all of that as well, so you'll be able to show your uh, your four viewers next week. Oh, how fantastic! Did you um? Did, church. Did you notice if they had a, a proper organ in there or what? Um, no, but it, it, the, the church is absolutely huge. So I think it was up in the 
on the balcony bit of the back, you know, like where, where you can't really the sit. The minstrels down. gallery. The minstrels gallery, as my mother's just the called minstrels? it. The minstrels? What minstrels? I thought that was something you eat. No, I thought it was people that, that blacked themselves up to it. Uh, minstrels gallery is where you, when you have a posh gallery in a, of a, a, a ball or a dance, and the, the musicians are up in the minstrels gallery playing oh. music. You learn something new every day. You well, you start. do. Your mother is a fountain of knowledge. It would be much better if she could call in and not you. Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you to say that, dear. But I think you'll find that when I call in or I'm on your show, your viewing figures double, double oh. to double figures. Well, let me just check. Let me just check. No. <laughs> how, many viewers are, how many viewers do you have at the moment? Perhaps you'd like to join in on this bit, right? I was just talking about never, ever lend friends money. No, never do it. And uh, never, the vi can I just tell you, the vile Daniel who always have some comment to uh, make, says, come on, Chris, tell me how much money you have lost to Ronnie. Now, Ronnie, would you like to tell Daniel how much money you've ever asked me to lend well, you? Well, I haven't. Exactly. I haven't. That is, that's what I said. This that's, is, why, that's why we're still friends after 25 years. He's never, ever asked to lend money. And my advice no. to anyone, and I don't know if you agree with this, Ron, never, ever lend money to friends. Would you agree with that? No. I mean, it's, it, you know, when it comes to family and things like that, it's a, bit, it's a little bit different, or if you're with somebody. No, not family. But friends, dear. Friends. Yeah, but if, if, um, if, if, if let's say, you know, I, I don't know, one of, my, one of my many, 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 many other, many, many other friends said to me, you know, lend me some money, I, I'd say no. Because you, you don't want it to interfere with your your friendship, because it's always that elephant in the room if they don't pay you back. An elephant in your room? Why is there an elephant in your room? Okay, uh, an elephant in the room is it, it, it means something different. It means that there's always something there that's in the way of your friendship. It's something that's not spoken about. You have to look it up, dear. Obviously, you're not very good on uh, on um, Are you... on on. Uh, are you getting one of those as well as the cats? Well, an elephant. I'd love an elephant. Would you? I'd love an elephant. Well, I mean... I have, have one, you. Have a little look in the mirror, dear. I mean, you're not far uh, off an uh, elephant yourself, you are you, you're dear? Not far off, you're not far off a bull elephant. Oh, please. I've lost five pounds in weight this week, I'll have you know. Well uh, done. The thing is, darling, if you lost five pounds in money, you'd lose, you'd lose ten pounds in weight with stress. <laughs> That's probably quite true. It is. Anyway, back to me. Have you missed me? Have you been away? Well, yes. Oh, I hadn't noticed. Normally we go to Waitrose and have tea and do things Well, I had a week. nice cup of tea and Waitrose myself the other day. Do you know, I, sat, I, I managed to get the comfy chairs. I went in there. Right. All I had was a cup of tea, no cake, because we're off all those at the moment. And Correct. I sat in that chair... And I drank my tea, and it was quite... It wasn't over-busy in there, and I just sat there and watched people. I like doing that, don't you? I think, you're, I think you have a bit of a fetish at that. I think it's called voyeurism. <laughs> it's called people watching. <laughs> I like to sit in there and look out the window and watch who goes in and out of the toilet and time them while they're in there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I cooked dinner last night. I did, um, I did lamb chops and... Uh, oh, little you didn't eat potatoes. dead animals last night, did you? That, that, no, not me. I didn't eat... Well, I did. I ate chicken, but... Oh, what I'm saying is, no. I'd done, um, I done lamb chops with um, roasted garlic potatoes and um, a buffet of vegetables. A what? Me, I had a, what? a medley. A, med a, medley, a medley. A medley of vegetables. A buffet? You mean a, a buffet? A medley. A medley. No, a buffet, a as in like a, a large amount of different types of medley. <laughs> but me, I had a couple of chicken sausages and salad. No potatoes, no bread. Very, very good dish. Chicken sausages. Good. And I had, and I, I also, I also bought a cake. We bought a lovely cake, a lovely tart, and I didn't have one piece of it. And there was cupcakes, and I didn't have one of those either. <laughs> so I've been very, very, very good. Oh, I've got Thank a present you, for child. you. I've got a present for you. I've got a present for you. I'm just... You can't see the show, can you? No. Right. No, I can't, no. I'm just going to show my millions of viewers all over the world. Those of you listening, I'll tell you in a minute when he's gone off the bloody phone. Hang on. I'm just going to show my millions of viewers. 
You don't have millions of viewers. Right. Now, around Christmas time, you could get these maids. Right? Can you see those? Okay. I love Christmas. I love right. Christmas decorations. Oh, I bought some while I was on holiday. Time. I like Christmas too, dear. But I don't, I don't feel I got enough presents. It seems to be, when I hit 19, I hardly got any presents after that. Why is what, that? 19 wrong? stone? No, 19 in years. That was a while oh. ago, weren't it? You, you've done very well this year for presents, Chris. Your Tiffany lamp 19. was not cheap, dear. I know someone called George who's 19. Yeah. yeah. Is he a friend of yours? Yeah, a very good friend of mine. Oh, some messages for you. I'm messing over. Okay. Um, uh, Daniel wants to say hello to Ronnie's mum. Daniel's in Camberley, just down the road. Hello, Daniel. Daniel's a bit pervy, mum. Yeah. Oh, and uh, and the thing is, right? Just just to let you know, the Camberley Tesco's is not one of those closing down. Uh, well, I don't I don't shop in Tesco's. Yes, you've been down there before. You lying git? I have not. You have. When? That big Tesco's with everything in it, like televisions and everything. Ah, you know why I went there? I went there to get Andy's, um, Bailey's, Truffle Bailey's Irish Cream. That's what I like to hear. One. For my present, yeah. you go to John Lewis. For Andy's, you go to Tesco's. I love no, it. No, because it was the only place... It was I the only love place it! They sold it. it was the only place that they sold it there, was uh, in Tesco, so I could get it. But slightly bad so. news... One of the Tesco's they were going to they are were going to open, they are not going to open now, and that was in Tattershaw. 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 Where, where I have a house. Yes. That sounds distinctly Chinese up there, doesn't it? Tattershaw. There's no Chinese up Tattershaw. there. Tattershaw. <laughs> and uh, Daniel also says, "Can you lend him twenty pounds?" No. Simple answer? No. No. That is the no. correct answer. And I'm unanimous in that. And <clears throat> I am unanimous. I must say, I must say, dear, isn't, doesn't he work for British Gas and they overcharge everybody so he should be loaded? Um, no, Terry works for British Gas. Terry's with us as well today. He works for British Gas. Not as a fitter. He's, he, he's doing typing and things like that. Accounts, I he think. Does, he, does the court, he works in the, the bookings thing, the bo doesn't he? Booking department, yes. Yeah, I bet he. Get, I bet he gets. A, I get, bet he gets a, a percentage every for every booking he makes. There's one driving around in a brand new BMW, living in a four bedroom house in a nice area, ripping ripping people off, dear British guy. No, he's been ripped off. He, we were talking about this lending money to to friends and that, and the fact that right. he should never do it because it doesn't come back. The times that happened no. to me in the past, um, you know, if, even when people ask me now, Ron, can you lend? I don't pretend I haven't got any money. I say, I'm sorry, I don't lend money to anyone. I just but, don't do it. And then before they can say anything, I say, but don't worry, I'm not offended that you asked me. I just don't lend it. Yeah. <laughs> and then yeah. they go away. Yeah. Best way to be, dear. Best way to be. Daniel says he's loaded. I don't believe that for one moment, Daniel. Not with those clothes that you've got on on on, on your little profile picture. Yeah, I mean, I'm a, I'm a bit of a peasant myself, dear. Huh. Penniless. Peasant, Penniless dear. Peasant. peasant. Yeah. Who flies Ryanair? I don't fly Ryanair. Well, how are you I getting home then? What, you walking? Flight with Ryanair. What, you're walking across the water, are you Jesus? Is it going to part the Red Seas like Moses in, in, the, in your religion? Is Moses coming uh, down to part the something? English Channel? Can I say something? Have you ever, have you ever flown a budget airline? Not recently, Thank no. Thank you. No. Thank you. You no. certainly have, dear. Not recently, no. You certainly no. have. No. We flew, Ameri we flew American Airlines. That was a budget airline. Oh, well. Right, I've got another call to take. I'll see you later. OK, I'll speak to you tonight. Thank bye you. Bye-bye, dear. There we are, Ronnie on line one. Uh, we've got, oh, we got, we're, 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 we're going to have another call. Where did the other call go? Oh, it's gone. Someone else was trying to call in then. Feel free to call back now. Lines are open. OK, give us a call in. That was my best friend, Ronnie, calling from Ireland. How fantastic. Um, yes, good morning, Rory. Give us a call now if you want to. Be nice to hear Rory on the phone this morning. Terry H says, why is Ronnie attacking me? I haven't said anything. It was Daniel. Yes, I just I did. I did tell him that. I did tell him that. He attacks you because you work for British Gas and he doesn't like British Gas. He attacks everyone. I wouldn't bother any of... I wouldn't worry about any of that, dear. 
Do not worry about any of that at all, Terry, okay? Um, there we are, Rory, there we are. Good morning, Rory, how are you? Hi, good, how are you doing? And you're in Fulham? Uh, yes, I am. Rory. I am as well. Rory and Fulham. Can you just turn your um, computer off? Yeah, sure, that's fine. Stop that's the uh, stream. There we are. How are you, Rory? All right? I'm fine. How are you? Ever lent any money to anyone? Um, I've paid people back, but uh, I don't think I've lent people any, any, anything, no. So you, you've you borrowed money from people? Oh, no, I haven't borrowed, no. I, 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 when I say when I, when I, when I, when I borrowed, I mean... I mean uh, Christmas money from my parents and stuff like that. Oh, okay. So you've got money from your parents. Yes. Right. For Christmas. I've got someone else trying to call in. You stay there. Um, I can only take one call at a time. So the person trying to call in, which is in London, if if you could call in in a little while, because I can't talk to two people at once and wait for wait for us to have a little bit of a conversation with Rory. All right, Rory. Just before I chat with you, uh, I just want to bring this up again. What I bought for for, for Ronnie, my best mate. Yeah. And if you're listening, Ronnie, turn it off now, okay? Turn it off now, okay? Um, I at Christmas time, Royal Mail were. I think you can still do it. Actually, you can have your photo put on a stamp. Right. Right. And that's what I've had made for him. He hate this. It's my photo. Actually, I know it looks a bit blurred on the camera, I'm afraid. Uh, my photo, and that's when we went to Las Vegas right. a couple of years ago. And I'm standing on a boat in the Grand Canyon on the Colorado River. There we are. Right. Let's bring that a bit close like that. I've got him 10 stamps like that. He'll hate that. I like to buy things from that he hates. <laughs> Anyway, there we go. Yeah. Yes. So, what was you saying yeah. about the money uh, there, Rory? Um, no, I'm, talk I'm talking about Christmas money and things like that. I'm, um, I'm, I'm, I'm quite, a, I'm quite a good money saver. Otherwise. Oh no, no, no. We, we were saying. Oh, have you only just joined us? Yes. Ah, uh, okay. No, I was talking about like when you lend money to people and they don't pay it back, and you're made to feel guilty about it. Has that ever happened to you? Um. No, no, I, I'm, oh, no, 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 I'm right, very bored. Well, that then. <laughs> anyway, how are you, Rory? I've got a karaoke tonight, Sydenham. Yeah, I was, I was going to ask about that because that's a bit close, closer to me, isn't it? Yes, uh, yeah. Sydenham is kind of Crystal Palace way, and that's right. nine o'clock till twelve o'clock. That one, nice, uh, nice looking pub. I've got a little stage at the end, um, which you may or may not want to go on. And um, uh, there we are, yeah. Uh, are, 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 are you doing it ne ne next week as yes. well? Yes. Oh, what, yes. in the same place? Yeah. No, that one is irregular. Oh, oh, oh right, OK. Yeah, so I'm down there tonight and tomorrow night, of course, at the Golden Lion in... Um, it, sorry, the uh, Cherry, Cherry Tree in Dulwich. That's, that's every Sunday, that one, yeah. Right, OK. All right, uh, Rory? Yeah, how, how was your Christmas? All right, thank you very much. You know, I went to my sister's. Yeah, it was a nice time. Nice time. I was I, I was in Devon on the on, on the farm with my, with my parents. Oh, okay. lovely! Yes. yes. Do you get involved when you're on the farm? Um, uh, I have done a few times. My dad's taken me in in the uh, Polaris a few times. In the what? In 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 the Polaris, which is which is the name. The name for his vehicle that he drives. I thought I thought it was a blimmin. I thought you were going to tell me he owned a submarine or something like that. Like that then. Well, I, 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 I've never taken a submarine a submarine around a farm, but it's wet, it's wet <laughs> enough to be. Oh gosh. <laughs> yes. Tara's just jumped onto the onto the desk. Get off the desk, Tara. Yeah, uh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my cat, by the way, <laughs> folks. <laughs> yes. How, how's Katie? She's fine. She's downstairs. She sleeps most of the time now, Rory. Right. Well, what you, you have a, eh? What are, What are your plans for the week? Oh, um, just my usual work jobs and that, Rory. I'm hoping to see you come down and sing at some point. I, I will do. Um, right. if, uh, uh, to tell, to tell me, uh, tell me in, in, in advance when the next karaoke is on on a Saturday, because that's in a that's in a good travel range oh, for I me. Can I can tell you that now. One minute.
it's well seventh of February is the next Saturday one. Right. I'm afraid, yeah, it's a little bit of a while to wait, isn't it? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. But but, but I but I shall I'm, I I I I look forward to it. I'll, I'll try and come down to the territory next week. Okay. I'm, I'm, sa I'm saving money this week because the carpet man's coming this week. Okay. So I'll I come I'll come down the next week. Carpet so, man, what are you having down? What 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 am I what am I having done? It's so expensive. It's so expensive. Well, I I only have it done one, once a year. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not it's not too bad. Good. And. Uh, so, so there well, we you are. Have really, carpet down every year. Well, I have the carpets cleaned every year. Yes. All oh, right. Okay. I've got one of those machines I bought last year. Vax. Quite good, actually. Right. Yeah, it's an upright one, and it really does make a difference. It, it looks so much cleaner afterwards. Yeah. So, so certainly it does, like in the adverts. Really. That's I right. Used yeah. To, yeah. Uh, I you used to. Know, you I got... used to know the guy who was Mr. Muscle in the, in the adverts. Oh yes, yes, and you yeah. haven't got like soaking wet carpets either, which is quite good. <laughs> I, I hope not. Anyway. But, All right, uh, Rory. Nice to talk to you then. And you take care, mate. Have See a lovely day. Bye, bye, Rory. Bye. Bye, bye now. Oh, lovely to talk uh, little Rory in uh, Fulham now. Now, someone else was just on a call. Let me see if I can call them back there. One second. I think Ryan. Hello, Ryan. Ryan? Hello? Ryan? No. Nope. Hello? No, Ryan? No. Hello? <laughs> I can hear I can hear someone typing, but um, nothing else. Uh, Terry H says, what's your view on shake diets? Two shakes during the day and then a sensible meal in the evening. I wouldn't bother, Terry. I think that's overpriced. Um, I, I, I don't go along with those shakes at all. In fact, I, I'm not quite sure how safe they are. Isn't that all chemicals in there? I'm sure it's like all chemicals in, in those shakes. and that. I, I wouldn't just eat sensibly. I've cut out bread, cakes crisps and all that i've lost five pounds in a week this week so i mean that's good news isn't it really oh that's it there talk to ryan now hello, hello ryan hello ryan hello hello ryan all right hello hello where are you can you not hear me hello mm. i'm Sounds like a young person, doesn't it? Hello, Ryan? Hello? I'll send him a little message. I think we can message on here as well. Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, there you are. Hello, Ryan. Hello. Where are you? Yes. Where are you? Uh, I'm in the Netherlands. In the Netherlands, in Holland? Yes. How fantastic is that? Was it very windy there last night? I'm in the Netherlands. Yes, was it very windy there last night? Hello? Hello? Can you not hear me properly? I don't think that's going to happen, is it? No. Hello? We can't hear... You yes? Can't, I don't think you can uh, hear us. I'm in the... I'm in... Den Haag? And that's a, that's a town in the Netherlands, is it? Yes. Oh, Fair. fantastic. That's great. Was it very... Yes, very. Did you have a storm there last night? We had one here. No. Oh, he's typing now. Ryan is typing. So. Yes. I don't think you can hear us properly. I'll send him a little message there. I think we'll have to abandon. I, th I think we're going to have to abandon you because you can't hear us properly. All right? No. Hello. Yes. 
Okay, Ryan, you have a good day, my little friend. Right, we'll, we'll leave that there, I think. I can't, he can't hear us properly, never mind. Now, who else was trying to call in? Uh, Marge, I think, was trying to call in. Let's give her a quick call. Um, Daniel says, can I come tonight? What, to the karaoke? Of course you can. It's at the Golden Lion in Sydenham. Bring your family. It's a family pub. I think you'd have quite a good time there, to be honest. Wouldn't you? Oh, I can't get hold of Marge now either. <laughs> this isn't working very well, is it, now? Let's just... Uh... Right. Oh, there's Marge now. Morning, Marge. Good morning. Morning. You all right? Um, yeah. I don't know whether I'm still... Are you still online? Yes, I'm we are, yes. Live? Yes. Oh, okay. I didn't know if this is work or not. I'm oh, trying working. my app on my, uh, my cell phone. Yes. Am I coming through clear all right? All right, yes, yes. I am, okay. Oh, you kind of stuttering there. At first, I thought maybe I was going to have a bad connection. Uh, something I've never tried before. <laughs> what is this? F I did, calling uh, for your uh, phone? Have it's you got, on my have cell you phone. The, have you got the Skype from your phone, have you? Yeah, I thought I said I've never tried it before, so I wasn't sure if it's going to work or not. Oh, that's working fine for me. I'm still... Okay. I'm... Um, I'm usually about 10 years behind when it comes to technology. <laughs> oh, worry not, worry not. Yeah, <laughs> anyway, worry I just, not. yeah, I was kind of wondering on that on that deal, you know, I didn't register your gift. Yeah. No, no, no. And I thought, well, it was something. Oh, Daniel, Daniel wants I'm to know sorry? if I can give him a lift to the karaoke. No, I've got a car full of gear. You'll never get in the car. Speakers and everything I have to take down there. Cool, you get a bus. Anyway, what we got, March? Hello? Well, are you talking to Daniel or me? I don't know who you're talking to. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I was just telling you on that token, I said I was concerned because I didn't register, you know, insure it. And, it's, you know, it's valued between 30 and $50. And I thought, man, I should probably insure it. I was, I was wondering because I sent another gift to a lady there in the UK and it got to her right before Christmas. Well, it's very nice of you so to have sent it. I was wondering why it takes so well, I thought about sending you something. I know you like things that people make and all that, but I'm yeah. not. My, I mean, things I make and probably get broke. <laughs> and I thought, well, that's something <laughs> more like uh, in your spiritual avenue. I mean, it has the Lord's Prayer, and I thought you need yes, some luck. Yes, that's fantastic. <laughs> Carry Absolutely around fantastic. with you. <laughs> I gave it a little bit of my own blessing. I hope you don't mind. No, I that's fine. I gave you my own little prayer. That's fine. So anyway. And I thought, well, if you didn't like it, you can always find somebody else that might enjoy it. But <laughs> anyway, it's, it's hard to send things over the over the mail. It's it's pretty expensive too. I mean, my gosh, for anything you know, just to uh, anything you package, it takes more for the shipping than anything else. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I wanted yeah. to send you a case of Bush's beans, but I said, oh, I can't afford that right now. Oh, I like Bush's I'll, beans. I'll, I'll try that the only thing you send things like that in the post, like tins of food. I mean, that's they're quite yeah. heavy and very expensive to send anything like that in the post, I would imagine. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I don't know much about buying international. Well, I would have thought something through the UK, you know, and have it shipped from there. They don't have bush beans in the UK, do they? Or do they? No, no, we don't. Do we they don't have, have the bush them. beans? No. You don't have them there. No bush beans in the UK. Would work. <laughs> but anyway, give me E for effort. <laughs> 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 no, I was laughing about your shirt there. You know, I don't know if anybody... I'm not complaining. I just said that I love, the way those lines... You remember back in the first time we used to watch television, some of the shirts people wore, they the the, the lines wiggle, kind yes. of wibble wobble back and forth with the with the video. I said it's doing that from your your camera. It makes the lines wiggle. <laughs> no, it's it's the shirt. <laughs> okay, it, make... I've noticed that if you put certain, this this is this particular shirt does make does uh -huh. go all funny on on the live camera. Yeah, it does. We got a yeah. couple of uh, messages Wait, coming. Uh, Mike in Brighton says, "Lend me a fiver, Chris." No, not lending money to anyone. I told you that, Mike. And Tony Powell says, "Good morning, hi, Chris. Hope all is well." And that's Tony. He writes. Uh, he writes songs for the Eurovision Song Contest. Tony does. 
Well, at least you're busy this yeah. morning. You've had several calls, and that people are calling in and talking in. We're Mark's still busy here uh, this someone, morning. Well, someone trying to come in from London as well at the moment. So, that person who's trying to call from yeah. London, just wait till Marge is finished and then give us a call. Then, all right? As soon as okay, Marge finishes, I don't want to take up a lot of time. Pardon? I let you give some. I said I won't get off here so you can get some other calls and and uh, I was going to ask you about your picture in the back. Cause oh, the this Earth one. Here. I know when you're on vacation, then I'll get yes. let you answer. Um, someone drew me for Christmas a picture of Ursula uh, from The Little Mermaid, and that's a picture that's displayed behind me today. It's beautiful she, the way she's drawn that. Really oh, well okay, done. That's right. I'm getting. I'm sorry, I got a little lag here. I'm getting senile. I think you said that on a video the other day. Yeah, I, did, I, I did. forgot. Yeah, yeah. That's right. You got that in the present. Okay, I'm going to get off here, hon. I'll, I'll talk to you another time. You have a good week ahead. Okay, Marge. Thank you very much for glad sending that losing, coin as well. Bye-bye now. Glad you're losing weight. I'm, try, I'm trying to also. It's, <laughs> it's a long, long ways to temporary, but... <laughs> it's a long way Bye, to go. Cheerio, Marge. <laughs> Marge in Oklahoma. A line not too good there. Now, whoever that was dialing in from uh, London, call now. I shall wait for your call. Still waiting. Still waiting. Hurry up and call in. Uh, Daniel says, the lines on your shirt are your man boobs wobbling. I beg your pardon. I've lost five pounds in weight this week. I keep telling you, Daniel. I bet you don't look at yourself in the mirror naked, do you? Oh, that's frightening, that is. <laughs> Uh, Terry H says, I'm in London in April, so we'll try and come to one of your gigs. Yeah, please do. I don't know about those shakes, though, those diet shakes when you have... A sh you know, sometimes when I'm in the swimming pool, because we share the changing room with the people who use the gyms as well, and they um, come in, and they've got this like great big bottle of... I don't know what it is, I really don't... And it's, it's just like some sort of powder. But, I mean, it, it doesn't look like something to eat, if you see what I mean. It just looks some some sort of chemicals. And they put this in a glass and then put this in their little drinking bottle, shake it all up and drink it. And they don't seem to enjoy it, whatever's in that. Good morning. Who's that? Chris, it's Tony Power here. Hello, Tony. All right? I, I thought I might come in and rescue you, you see. You have rescued me, dear. You've rescued me. It's all going terribly wrong today, dear. I couldn't help. I couldn't help. I don't often watch it. You also get a chance to look in, but, but dear. What it um, is, what I it is... I you're having a wonderful morning, you know, with your show. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad you like it, Tony. What it, what it is, I've got a new programme that mixes the images and the sound together. Oh, and right. You know, whenever you upgrade something, it, it just doesn't seem to be as good as what you had the first time. Yeah. I mean, we can go back. You remember Windows XP and how fantastic oh God, that yeah, was. Yeah. I mean, that was great, Windows XP. And ever since then, it just seems to be all downhill. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Tony, been, anyway. <laughs> yeah, you're an interesting person. You write songs for the Eurovision Song Contest, don't you? Oh, God, yeah, yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm currently uh, doing an album. This is a rather exclusive album, actually. Uh, it's called Eurovision Connections. Yes. And uh, it, it's going to involve some of the, uh, the biggest Eurovision acts from, from all over, the, over, the, over Europe, including, um, well, I, I, I could name a couple of people that are definitely going to be on it, and that's going to be... Uh, I, I don't, don't know if you remember the... Luxembourg winner from 1973, Anne-Marie David. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Yes, yes. She's going to be on there. And, uh, of course, Neve Cavanier is going to be on there. Yes. And I'm currently trying to get uh, Dana on there as well. Dana? Yes. Oh, all kinds her, of her everything. Her excellency, or former, whatever she, she was. I think she, I, I think she was, uh, you know, she stood for the presidency at one time, didn't she? Yes, she okay. was. I don't think she, she got it. Did she actually go through with it? No, what? I think she went. Uh, you, know, she, you know, she went in and uh, became a member of the of the European Parliament or something like that. She represented the uh, yes. You know, you're, you're the Irish uh, at the at you know, in Europe in uh, in the European. She was. You know, she was a member of the European Parliament. That's what I know. Right. Yes. And then uh, I think she's gone out of politics again now, and I think she tried again for the presidency in 2011. Mm. 
So anyway, um, I've got involved with our agent recently, and I've sent her a track for this for this album. And uh, you know, it might be a possibility that you might. Uh, that would it, be wonderful. Does she still go out and perform? Oh yeah, she's yeah, she does the odd show every every now and then. She's not she's not a you know a sort of a, um, on the level she used to. You know, because uh, she used to be a very good singer at one time, I, I believe. And she, I think she lost her voice or something. You know, something happened. I, I don't know what happened, but. Uh, but uh, she, 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 she brought the other album out every every now and then. But uh, but I think really it'd be quite an honour to have her on my my album anyway. You know, no, I think it would. And uh, and I've also uh, approached um, uh, uh, Johnny Logan and um, and what's her name, Linda Linda. I have to go a second name. Oh, Linda Kavanagh. N- no, not Linda Kavanagh. Linda Martin. Linda Martin. Okay. Yeah, I've um, I've I've contacted their agency agent as well, so I've got a duet. So I'm going to try and see if, they, if they'd be interested in getting involved. You know, but but I you know I, I think that'd be a pretty tall order because I think Linda is quite interested, but I'm not too sure about you know Johnny Logan because he's he's got his own views about Eurovision. I think you know so uh, well, well certainly about modern day Eurovision. Does know, he does he not Eurovision. like it anymore? I don't think he likes the sort of. Mo- I'm not sure he likes a modern day type of Eurovision. Whereas he's more, of a, he was more into the orchestral kind of. A, oh, kind of, you know, Tony! Kind of stuff, you're the old school Eurovision. Don't know? talk to me about that, dear. The worst thing they ever did was take that orchestra out. Yeah, I think so. But, uh, but I suppose it became a bit too expensive for them to, you know, to run the whole, you know, to run the. Correct you know, me, run correct the show me if I'm wrong. You're, it out already, didn't they? So, correct me if I'm wrong. You'll know about this. Is it more expensive for them if you can actually see the orchestra rather than if you can't? Um, I, I think you still have to pay the musicians to get involved in it, haven't you? You know, so uh, you know, so I think you know that's you know the main reason why they you know because it was getting very complicated, and there's more sort of countries wanted to get involved in in, in the contest. So, so I think they pulled a lot of. Uh, of uh, you know you know they pulled the orchestra bit out out of it altogether because they had to pay the musicians there was a lot of disagreements between the you know sort of uh, 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 composers and the orchestra as to how the event should be run right. or, or 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 I mean how the song you know could uh, should be designed for the actual contest you know so I see. and I think that it got very complicated and I think they just pulled it out and. And they just brought in, in backing tracks and. Uh, oh, I thought it was. And, all... and I, I can see where Johnny Logan is coming from. He's he's sort of he, uh, he thinks it's more of a karaoke competition these days. But <laughs> um, but I suppose it, there's an element of that. But they they are trying to involve more kind of um, um, kind of your know, real musicians in, uh, in the event nowadays. You know, that, yes. you know they're trying to you know, put a, a bit of a show on to make it a bit of a different event more than. Uh, it's not, you know. How many people have uh, who, who have you actually got signed up for the album at the moment? I've got I've got nine people so far, in, 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 including um, I'm I'm hoping to reinclude, of course, our, our old friend Sonia because you know I've you know, written yes, to Sonia yes, before. Yes, yes, I, yes. I, I did Sonia's last single, and uh, and uh, so I'm, I'm I'm hoping to get permission for uh, from her to use you know to use the song for the for the album as well. But all the songs that we written what, by what myself, she, of course. You know, so. What does Sonia do with herself at the moment? She just uh, goes around in cabaret and... She's just about... Uh, well, she, uh, what day is today? Yeah, she's still just about in Panto in Bromley. She's... Uh, uh, I think she's doing Sleeping Beauty at the moment. <laughs> oh, in yeah. Panto, yes, yes. And uh, I think I think most of the Panto uh, season must be coming to a close now. But, yeah, she's she's been doing um, the uh, uh, Bromley... It's Bromley Theatre or something like that. I right. Gone, or Bromley Palladium or Pro whatever it's called. Uh, she should do that since before Christmas, and uh, I'm not sure what she, what her next plans are. But uh, but check out her website. You know she's she's uh, she's got a whole, she's got all a list of plans and what she's going to be doing for for 2015. Yes. But, but uh, you know she's um she's she's still she's still she's, uh, um, a force to be reckoned with. But I, I just don't understand why she doesn't get more involved in in, in the recording uh, you know side of things. Well, you days. say you say that you see for. Many, many years, as you know, I was just a DJ, OK? Now I do... And a very do, good one, I bet. <laughs> uh, oh, I don't know about that. Average, average. And now I do this, um, and this, obviously, this is more like, you know, this is unpaid, but I do the, the karaoke and the quiz nights. Now, when I was DJing, often people said, why don't you get into remixing? And oh, I never not? really had... I never really... 
I'll be honest with you, Tony, I never really understood it. And I'm like, well, how, how do you do that? You know, and I didn't have much interest in it either. Now, sometimes I hear a record. You, you, I'm, I'm sure you know what I mean. You know, you're listening to a record. I'm like, hang on a minute. There should have been some trumpets there. Or, yeah. oh, where, 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 where is that drum beat? There should be a drum beat there. And I think in hindsight, perhaps I, I should have should have done it. But um, I, at the time, I had no real interest in remixing at all. And maybe that's where Sonia is as well. You know, she, she wants to sing, perhaps, yeah. but doesn't want to get more involved in that. Yeah, maybe she was very, she, she's not very technically minded as far as, as far as, as far as that's concerned. I, um, I think modern day mixing and, and producing is far, far different than what it used to be anyway back in the uh, 80s yeah. and 90s. You know, it's all, you know, it's, you know, it's all turned out to be a bit of a, a show these days. You know, you, you know you've got to be really uh, um, up with the Joneses as far as... Yeah, as, yeah. as um, Well, it moves, it moves around, the, it, it all moves along so quickly now, the technology, doesn't it? Well, well, the technology, I mean, you could have one sound, you know, that you've been using regularly on, on, on a track and, and now um, um, a different and better one comes up the following month, you know, and, yeah. and, uh, and, uh, and you keep chopping and changing and you're paying, of course, to, up, uh, you know, to upgrade your systems all the time. Mm, mm, mm. So, so I think it, it gets more expensive and more complicated. So, but, but in a way, it's very good for, for songwriters who, who are sending in the material to be updated by, by producers. Yes. It's, uh, because then you don't have to worry about doing it yourself. They can actually do it for you. And, yeah, and, and, yeah. Uh, and they can update all, um, all your music for you and, and use uh, the upcoming sounds for your songs. You know, and that's, you know, it's, it's good for songwriters, but not so much for, for, you know, for other people, I suppose. Yeah. You know, it's, you know, it's not, it's, yeah. But uh, there you go. Um, well, I think that's fantastic. When are you looking at the album coming out? Uh, well, uh, in time for uh, the 60th anniversary of, of the Eurovision, which is on, I, I think it's May, is it May the 15th? I'm not sure exactly. That is this but, year, is it? Yeah, that's, it, it's the 60th anniversary you know, coming up. So right. um, uh, in May uh, 2050, that's this year, of course. You know, so. where, where do you do the recordings, Tony? Well, um, I get a, um, I use you know the Barbican Studios in London, you know, right. to, you know, to get a lot of my material, you know, you know sort of done because they're very good there. And, uh, I don't know if you know Scott and, and uh, all the boys down there. Scott, they, uh, you know Scott who's it? And uh, oh yes, I and know Scott, uh, yeah. I, I, I yeah. use him, uh, you know my mate James James Her. I suppose you've heard of James. James, James. yeah. Uh, what's you his DJ James. name? Uh, sorry. What's his DJ name? Um, um, it's just James, uh, James St. James. But James isn't yeah, DJ it, anymore it, now because yeah. he, he's yeah, now James. Kind of, I know he, James. He, 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 he's now actually a very good producer and he's, he's very sought after in the, right. the music industry. But when I can, I do some stuff with him uh, yes. but, you know, because we're very good friends. You know, but, That's um, fascinating. But um, I send a lot of my stuff along to, you know, to the, uh, uh, to the Barbican Studios in, 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 uh, in the city and I work with a chap called Scott who sit there and uh, and he does he he works on a lot of my productions there. Right. So um, so that's quite useful. And Rory it, Rory in uh, Fulham has just said I'd like to hear a Sonia remix, and he says I miss the HMV stores. Do you remember those HMV uh, stores? Oh yes, yeah, of course, yeah. That was yeah. great flicking through all those records and choosing something that you wanted. Yeah, the, it, it, you know, it's a real sore loss, really. You know, yeah. the loss of that kind of. Uh, Things like you know LPs and 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 even CDs and tapes and all that they all they're all gone now you know so so it's all digital downloads I'm afraid yeah and, it is uh, a bit, um, it is but a bit um, boring, I used to enjoy going down to yeah uh, was that place down in Solo where they had um, tracks um, uh, tracks yeah mm. and and you went in there and you could browse around for ages and you, you could be in there for hours hours yeah. it, it, it was just fantastic, wouldn't it? Yeah. But, 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 but that's all gone now. I, I think they're closed down, I suppose. They, they have. Are. I'm sure they have. But you could go in there, and they, they, they knew me, and I'd walk in there, hello, Chris. He'd then go over to his all his new new songs that weren't out, and he'd pull them all out and give them to me. He said, yeah, I'd take those out the back, and I'd go out and listen to them and buy what I wanted. Yeah. I mean, you can do that now by clicking, but it's not as much fun. Nowhere near as much fun. Oh no! It's 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 all changed. All yeah, all the all, um, all the fun is going out of music these yeah. days. But I tell you what is coming in now. 
really. I think, uh, we, which is quite quite interesting as well. I think is that people are starting off their own music labels. Yes, you see, and uh, and that's good because talented songwriters and, and musicians and singers can actually start off their own yeah. uh, mini well, record it's, it's, company. You, you, know? can, you can just upload stuff to iTunes now. Just you just and that's I, it. Um, you've, you've... upload your, um, upload your stuff to iTunes yeah. these days and yeah. and, uh, and become you, your own music label you, you, and uh, you, you, and promote yourself that yeah. way, which is actually very good. Oh, it's you fantastic. Know? You do that and then you upload it and then you put little messages on Facebook and Twitter and all those places and people might have a listen and they might buy it. Now, I, I bought my first... Uh, and it's the same with books... I bought my first ebook um, that last week. Mm. There's a guy on LBC called Nick Abbott. Now he's on tonight, Fridays and Saturday nights between ten and one. Very funny. Okay. And uh, I found he had just released an ebook. So I went on Amazon and, I, and it says, "Oh, Kindle version." And I thought, "Well, I haven't got a Kindle." Oh well. But then I found if you buy the book, you get a free app. You get a free Kindle app. So I've mm. downloaded it. It was only one pound ninety nine onto my iPhone, my first ebook. So you see, he's written that himself. He's uploaded it I don't know where to the Amazon bookstore. All by himself. It hasn't had to go for a publisher or any 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 one of these, you know, people sitting in offices. No, that's not good enough for us. You haven't got to do any of that anymore. You just go straight to the public. Fantastic. I think it's all very exciting actually, because yeah. uh, um, it, you know, it's great for a book public, you know, for yeah. you know, for book writers and uh, and, and readers, composers, all sorts. Really, it's, uh, it, it, you know, it's quite an exciting uh, kind of you know way ahead, really, for every, for everybody in those yeah, lines. Yeah. But but uh, but I still I still miss the old uh, the old record shops. Oh, uh, me too. Me. And, it's uh, the, it's uh, the same. I, I think it's, it's, it's a shame that they're all just yeah. all going. You know. Yeah, but being able to do it yourself, it's like even me doing this. You know, yeah. I've decided that I want to come in here once a week, sit here and do, you know, an amateur TV little thing. Yeah. Right. I haven't got to go to a producer and beg to be given a chance or anything like that. I just click a few things. Sometimes it doesn't quite work technically. Other times it's all right. And, it, and, and just do it. That's, that's the beauty of the Internet, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, Tony, lovely to talk for you. It Absolutely, really is. Absolutely, yeah. I hope I haven't taken up too much of your time. No, not at all. Not at all. And uh, uh, um, I'll, call, you know, I'll call you again another time if there's any updates on, on the... Uh, on, yeah, please on, do. Please on do. Stuff, on stuff or anything like that. And it's nice to speak, and uh, I'll probably see you around, too. Yeah. OK, good luck, Tony. Okie doke. Cheerio now. Bye now. Bye-bye. How fantastic. So, as I say, Tony writes songs for the Eurovision Song Contest, working on that album on our own. Uh, finally today, we must say hello to Shania, who joins us for the very end of the show. Good morning, Shania. We've overrun a little bit today. And um, it's nice to have you with us. You'll have to catch the recording a little bit later. That's it today. Thank you for putting up with the uh, little problems that we had earlier on, boys and girls. I keep looking over here at another screen because it, I've got to work out which things to press to, to shut the thing down. <laughs> I mustn't upgrade programmes. I really mustn't. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget you can catch our daily live uh, little short videos, rather, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. You can find those by going to unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. The email address, if you want to send in an email, chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. Have a nice Saturday. Bye-bye now. We'll